Hello everybody. Today will be my first day at my new job. Um, I don't know what to expect. Obviously it's just going to be orientation since it's just the first day. Um, I guess just like watching videos and just stuff like that. But other than that, I... It's like five minutes before I have to go in and I'm glad I don't have to drive like a whole 30 minutes just to go to work because I mean that get that gets pretty old really quick so at six so that's pretty new I had to also had to sleep very early I'm not used to that so we'll see how it goes today I need caffeine or something we can't wear hoop earrings I'm not used to not having my hoop earrings on it's really pretty outside though and it's kind of cold Feels good. I'm breaking out. On my very first. expensive meal because our only our first meal is free which is kind of weird I don't know if I like that it's definitely very sunny today ketchup I got the jalapeno burger and I'm very excited. This is so weird. It's like I never thought. You just never know what's gonna happen in life, you know? Just you're gonna work in random places, meet new people. It's just all weird. There's a lot of flies in there. Even at Panda Express, there's always so many flies. I don't think that should be acceptable. I mean, it's an eating place. Why do I feel like I look better in this uniform than the one from Panda? I think I'm gonna take a headache pill. Yesterday I had a headache. These days I've been having headaches, I don't know why. I don't know what to do after work. I might do some vocals. Maybe I'll ride my bike. Or maybe, I don't know.
Oh, this thing is so annoying. Maybe ride my bike. Maybe go walk early. Um, we'll see. Either way, it'll be a good day. I'll be leaving early. I think it's about to be, I think the lunch, well, usually lunch rush starts at around 12 and it's about to be 12 here in like a couple hours. Other than that, that's my update for now. As always, I'll record when I can. And yeah. My first day is officially done. I got to leave early because I was just doing videos and um, basically I was just able to leave early. It was so freezing in there, like freezing cold. Um, good thing I wore a uh, long sleeve under, then I have this, and then I have a jacket. I did have to wear my hoodie, and <laughs> it looked, I don't know, weird. But my ears were cold, so, oh my god, I was so cold. But, thankfully I get to be home right away, I don't have to drive too long just to be home, and I'm very happy about that. So now we'll see what happens next. So this is my new uniform, non-slip. <laughs> so weird. It looks kind of weird because I'm wearing an undershirt and the undershirt is like way shorter than the actual shirt so it just looks kind of awkward it's not too bad not i didn't i never wear orange honestly and i, I thought it was gonna look worse it's not too bad this thing the way it was created i don't know but it's like always hanging down because it's like so weird. Unless I have it on wrong, but yeah. This is the second work uniform that I have. They gave me three shirts. I don't like this fabric, so I'm glad I brought this undershirt because I just wouldn't be able to stand the fabric. This is, I don't like it. It's like sporty. And it has like this, here, finally untuck this. You have to wear a black belt, which I've had this one since I was in Taco Bell. And I worked there for like three years. It has like this really annoying tag really sharp tech but other than that all I did today was watch videos safety videos and stuff this is where it fits like normal and I mean once it gets colder I won't really have to wear a belt or anything and I don't have to tuck it in because usually just wear a jacket anyway and thankfully it's cold enough in there to where I don't have to, where I can wear a jacket. I can get away with wearing a jacket, which is a lot more comfortable. I, I like it a lot better than being exposed like this. I usually prefer to wear like a jacket or a hoodie because of comfort. And I thought I was gonna have problems with the collar because I usually do have problems with the collar, but it's like, it's like the regular um, like where it sits re uh, normally, it just has a collar like really down below because I don't like when the collars are like up here. But this isn't too bad. It's like not too high up. It's pretty low actually. And it's not stiff. And I like how it has like the v-neck. It would look really nice. Maybe if it was a different fabric, 
I could probably not wear an undershirt, but I don't like the fabric, so. Yeah, this is the uniform. We'll see how it goes. Um, for now, it'll just be part-time. Part-time and yeah, just for now, you know, I got my free meal. Usually it's just 50% off. Which is, I guess it's better than paying full price, but I'm already used to free meals at Panda Express, so I don't know. The hair nets they have are black. The ones at Panda Express are brown. These are like a lot better quality. And also their gloves, like their work gloves, the disposable ones are pink. I think it's for like breast cancer awareness. So I thought that was cute. Pretty good quality, I like it. Nice. I like how you don't have to wear an apron. I really suffer with the aprons because of the neck. Um, I'm just always pulling it up. And I'm glad I don't have to wear that thing. They do, they wear like plastic ones, which isn't too bad. Cause I guess they want you to see like the name tag and like the uniform itself, like the stripes. Maybe that's why they don't make you wear an apron. And also because not everyone works with food. Some people only work with um, customers or doing orders, but I don't know, we'll see what happens, hopefully. I can stay here for quite a while, at least while I finish school, which will be a very, kind of a long time. <laughs> but so far, first impression, I liked how I get home right away. We get free drinks, 50% off, and the building itself is a lot bigger. At Panda Express, um, there's this problem that, uh, Oh. it's so small like the workplace is so small and like the the aisle everyone passes by we're always bumping into each other and I don't know it's just don't, I don't like when people I don't like being touched even accidentally I know it happens and stuff but I just rather not be touched and what I liked about the building itself, it has a lot to do, you know, it matters a lot, is that um, it's very spacious. It's very, very big, very spacious. There's no excuse to accidentally touch someone. So that's what I liked about it. And we'll see how it goes, if it's good enough or, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I'm not saying I want to leave Panda Express. I mean, I'm not really getting full time over here either. But um, I would like to work closer to home full time. So that's just my process right now. Um, we'll see how everything goes. That's just all I gotta say for now made sure to get my diet coke before i went home i'm gonna improv for a bit <sighs> why are there hairs on my piano <sighs> i like this <laughs> different chord
so car sick right now. We had to come do some business. I didn't have to come, but my mom wanted me to come. I didn't really want to come. <laughs> I wanted to go on my walk and do music, but you know, family time. And I didn't want to take emotion sickness because I've already took an ibuprofen earlier and I don't like taking stuff, drugs. But now I'm really car sick. I feel like shit. Damn, I look tired. Maybe because I woke up at 6 in the morning. ¿Dónde estamos hoy? No más así. 